All right, finding your strike zone. This is vital. When, when you see that ball, when you see that ball coming, you want to pay attention when you're making contact with, with the ball. What we talked about that that ball can be far away from you or it can be closer to you. That's very important. Usually what, what you want to do is that you get in position and when you swing and you make contact with the ball, you want to establish that strike zone. You don't want you don't want the strike zone to be moving around. Sometimes I hit one ball down here, so my racket ends up more like standing. So I'm kind of more like shoveling that ball. Or sometimes I hit that ball and it's close to me, so I'm hitting with the with, with the T-Rex position hand, see, with my elbow right by my body. Or sometimes I hit that ball far away, so I'm slapping, I'm reaching for that ball. No, establish your strike zone. When you're hitting the ball, what I say about you want to pay attention you, you want to pay attention to what happens in your bubble. That's the very first thing you, you want to pay attention to, what happens in your bubbles. So what's going to happen is that pay attention to what you're doing with your technique, pay attention to how you're making contact, where you're making contact, am I doing things right? If I fo focus more on the technique, on your footwork, on keeping your eyes on the ball, on moving well, on keeping your distance, on reacting quickly instead of paying attention to the ball, to the shot. Because it's very common that people pay attention to the shot and sometimes their technique is not ready or their footwork didn't work. Something went wrong and, and they are not paying attention to what is going wrong and instead they're paying attention to the result. It's like building a house and you're not really paying attention to the foundation and everything you have to do from day one and going brick by brick and then in, in, instead of paying attention to that you're thinking on, on how the house is going to look and how it's going to be at the end so you're traveling in time your mind is not really focused on the moment you got to focus in the moment you got to focus okay ball coming this is a place you, you're going to hit one ball that is going to feel, feel easy and if there is one word that you gotta remember to find your strike zone in every, in every, in every stroke is effortless. Is that ball that you hit and say, wow, that felt easy. That felt super easy. I was in balance, right distance. I mean, it just feels like I didn't have to do nothing. That means I was in the right place. So that's what you wanna pay attention to. You really need to focus what happens in your bubble and paying attention to where you're making, what you're doing with your swing. Are you doing it right? Are you moving your feet? Are you keeping your eyes on the ball? You know, and doing all that. If you focus on what's happening in your bubble, you don't have to worry what, ha what happens outside of it. it will, the shot will take care of itself. So focus what happens in your bubble, come in that ball, find your strike zone, don't let it move around. It's usually more or less at, 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 at stomach height and with the racket, paddle it to the ground here it's somewhere around this area so you gotta find it and establish it so when you're playing you already know where your strike zone is and so and when you're moving what's gonna happen is that you're not gonna run to the ball like a lot of people do that they run towards the ball and they they go to the ball and they they adjust their strike zone according to how close or how far they are no your strike zone is not supposed to change the strike zone, you already have a mental picture of where your strike zone is once you find it. And when you're moving towards the ball, you're moving, boom, and you place the strike zone right on the path of the ball. So that way you're not gonna you're not gonna be having variations or adjustments when you hit the ball. Establish your strike zone and be very strict on moving and getting that strike zone right on the path of the ball. Don't don't hit adjust dot. Don't, don't just move and hit the ball adjusting to what's coming and to the, your position in, in, in your distance from side to side, you know, from the ball. Okay, guys, so let's pay attention to that. It's super important. Pay attention to your strike zone and you want to create a mental picture of what it is. And once you start playing, then you just got to move. It's like you, you already know what it is and you got to move, put in the path of the ball to hit it. Okay? All right, guys, let's move on to the next point.